Hey friends, welcome to my garden. It is late spring, early summer, and I'm really enjoying just so many blooms. I'm spending a lot more time outside enjoying the sights. My porch still needs some work, but there are at least a few flowers in pots to enjoy. These are primrose flowers. They do best with a little bit of shade and protection, and they seem to stop flowering in the summer, but this is what they look like earlier on in the spring. I've repotted these and replanted them to give them some room to grow, and maybe I'll see them again next year. Even in early spring, I'm enjoying arrangements from whatever flowers I can find, like these daffodils, I'm happy to have several varieties of daffodils now. I'm also cutting from the Chinese snowball bush that is in my mixed border, my mixed hedge, and even some wildflowers like these fleabane. Spending a lot of time out here So I created a arrangement to enjoy while I sit up here. It's cool enough in mid spring to have salad greens in the containers. I'm starting some lavender in pots from propagation. Hello, little bee. Surprisingly, these lavender cuttings have survived all winter long and it's time to move them up this is what the mixed border is looking like in February there's a little bit of color from what some would call weeds but these weeds I've really come to enjoy so this is fleabane I'm sure they have some medicinal property right Seems like a lot of wild native things do. Got some daffodils mimicking the color in the flea bane, so it's like they fit right in. And acolysia or columbine is really holding it down this time of year. So lesson from the garden, spread columbine around as much as you can. I'll be saving seeds from these. The front flower bed has a little bit of interest at this time of year. There are alyssum and daffodil, the lilies and gladiola are already popping out, so they'll be flowering soon. Iris foliage interest and this is the back part of my mixed hedge. I love this hedge. It's a flowering hedge so these are all flowering bushes. However, the copper top viburnum that I planted as part of this mixed hedge, very disappointing. The brick edging over the winter seems to have sustained some damage. So I'm going to be correcting some of that this year. I'm going to be um, replacing the bricks, um, just lifting them up so that they do a better job preventing soil erosion and just so they look better. This also gives me an opportunity to just be out in the garden at this time. They're isn't really a whole lot to do, so, you know. Pulling out weeds from in between the bricks and then setting them back nice and neatly. Now, you can really enjoy the, the flowers in the bed. 
While I'm at it, I am planting some succulents in my walkway. So to do that, I'm taking some of the broken bricks and putting them at the bottom of the walkway, setting the rocks back and then sticking these succulents. These are some kind of sedum. I'm not really sure exactly what they're called, but they grow prolifically. I've taken them from my parents' garden and I have them all the time. They just grow nonstop. So I took a few pieces and I'm spreading them around in between the paving stones. And I'll, you know, probably just water these once and then walk away. I mean, we've had a good bit of rain, so I'm sure that they will take care of themselves and they root so easily. All I've got to do is just give them a gentle push, a little nudge, and then there they go. Spirea blooms and Chinese snowball blooms are what make up the mixed hedge in spring, the, the blooms in the mixed hedge in the spring. And I just love these Chinese snowball blooms. They're such a sweet surprise and they're tucked back in between my house and the neighbor's house. So as you pass by, you kind of have to like do a double take to see them. And before long, the hydrangea come and take their place. Now, these copper top viburnum bushes that didn't make it are obviously going to have to go. So I am chopping them back all the way to the ground looking for green, finding none, and digging them up. They will go on top of the compost heap. Now it is late spring, early May, early summer, excuse me, and daisies are blooming in the hell strip. Surprisingly, I've also got a good bit of calla lilies blooming here too, and it is so hot, but they seem to just be making their way. I've planted some privet. These are um, the spirea in early summer. The curly leaf, wax leaf privet will have flowers too, so I've got quite a few blooming shrubs we'll walk into the garden and look at the mixed border this time of year. We've got Creeping Jenny, Lavender, Gladiolas, Mint, some lettuce are dotted around here and there, Coneflowers, Dahlia, Alyssum, hydrangea and lilies in that front border. I love the lilies against this dark red flora petalum. Spirea's blooming. but I've also got these lovely hellebores recently planted. So this area should perk up a little bit. And on the other side, yarrow underplanted around the Chinese snowball that are no longer in flower. So I like having something in flower underneath. there is always more work to do. So I've got to get to work. Please like, share, subscribe, do the thing, and I'll see you soon.